Should be back. Yes, we are back. All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, don't know why I disconnected from the world for some reason. I kind of could tell because it was getting a little bit harder to pick shit up. It actually looks like they had a server restart because I'm not seeing any of my actual items here. So I, that was a whole entire server crash. That wasn't actually me. Because if it was me that disconnected, you'd still see the items from the things I murdered earlier. Like out here. So, yeah. Wasn't me at least. Yay. We're getting there, though, and items are getting hard to pick up again, so I don't know how long the server thing's going to last. Hopefully, I don't do an unscheduled maintenance before I finish these quests. Really hate if they did. And the reason why I'm picking everything else up fine is because they aren't counting towards a quest. Quest items are normally a bit harder to pick up when servers are lagging. Thank you. Because they don't want you, like, cheating them in or anything, and they have to make sure, double-check to see that you're getting them the right ones. And that they're counting. Because Maple Story has had, uh, like, I remember back in the day, there used to be tons and tons and tons of cheaters. Like, I would go to this one map, Imperion, and I'd always find somebody cheating. And I kind of liked it because I used to just, like, stand under them. Because the way that they cheat, they go, they have, like, an, a map killer. Where they will just stand on the map, and then they can just attack the whole entire map. And just kill everything on the map. And then they have, typically they have, like, a magnetism uh, hack as well. Where when whatever drops, pops to the character. Well, a lot of time, they'll leave, like, the character idle or something. So they will just kind of chill there, and then the character will just do its thing. But when they leave the character, I character idle, uh, they don't realize that their inventory got full. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. I think we're about to lose it again. They don't realize that their inventory got full. And when their inventory gets full, they don't pick up the items that they're dropping. So I would kind of stand under them if I found one that's idle. I will just stand under them, and I'll just pick up everything that they're dropping. So, it was kind of cheaty, but at the same time, it was profiting off a hacker, but I wasn't hacking. It, it was just something that I used to do, like, forever ago, back in Belican. So, it wasn't even this character or anyone near this character. Ah, okay. Three more tails, and then we can get out of this area and hopefully knock it, hopefully finish up these quests before I get disconnected. Oh, come on, now it's three. Get the hell out of here. There, got it. All right, get the hell out. And see, like, this area is not even loaded. It was definitely a server restart. Come on, keep going before all the monsters spawn. To be honest, that whole monster spawn thing, it's actually really nice if you're, like, a newbie. Because a lot of times you can kind of skip out where the monsters are. And you don't have to try to, like, run your way through it. Oh, fuck. Can I, can I remotely give these quests? I'd really appreciate if I could just remotely give this to them. Oh, come on. Please, please, please. Quests. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. I have to head to each one. Okay. Well, luckily, this lady's just right over here. Oh, wait, no. She's in Pantheon. God damn it. Ah. Oh, uh, that's one of the people who I met, Fua Fua. They ended up helping me out tremendously throughout a lot of that, so I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to message me or not. But if they do, hey, whatever. I'll let them know that I'm recording. And we'll move on. <laughs> hey, how you doing? What did you want? Oh. Oh, oh, I just had to bring it to him. Sweet, okay, that's going to save me the trip. There. All right, now both of those are done. I can head back to the... Whoa, that was weird. I headed behind that. Was a person here? No. Okay. So, yeah, we're getting some... We're getting a bit of lag here. Okay, cool. So, he's going to be like, Hey, yeah, you helped everyone. 144,000 and fell off letter. Awesome. I'm almost level 95. What is the letter for? It'd be fun to read, but rude. Okay. Get that thing out of my inventory. Let's actually sell some things real quick while I'm out here. Um, is there just a general seller out here? I think the good seller was to the right. Oh, yeah. Upcoming merchant. Hello. How you doing? Oh, I'm going to be the best. Okay. Then you. Um, real quick. I want to sell... <laughs> That's for luminous? Fuck. I'm not luminous. Pretty cool weapon, though. Um, 
I need to sell some of my accessory stuff. Because I there's no way I'm gonna use any of this. I got my level up so I can possibly like I end up doing some of the mining stuff and everything. Just so I can make that ring and so I can possibly have the chance to make my own lithium. But I realized lithium's a level 10 thing, and I could not do that. It's funny because these magic powders normally sell for like 50k. At least the last time I had to sell them. But whatever. I don't need these. I saw Black Bull's Deed simply because I can just go over there and give it to him. And I think I get fame for that quest. So that's why I'm keeping a hold of it. Don't need mana elixirs. I don't have mana. So for those of you guys who are new. Typically for a normal Maple Story character. You would have mana down here instead of my PP. Um, and then some characters have like rage or something like that. I, I think it's rage. Or some people have like uh, another thing called like a shock core. Thing and just it's basically a lot of characters function different ways. Majority of them use mana though. A large majority of them use mana. Okay, so now we can head back to Idia. And I think since that quest was kind of longer and it's kind of a kill quest, I think this should be the last quest of this quest line. So I believe what what do you have? Get more supplies. What? Hey, you came back. That's so awesome. Did they do? Um <laughs> Take out a hundred of those guys. Huh. Cool. I hate you. Hey, how you doing, idiot? Um, second dispatch. It's good to see you back at the headquarters. I'm told that it's been quite a helpful for the people of Pantheon. Awesome. I have been I have something to give you. A letter from Beldor. Allow me to take a look. Unfortunately, as usual, but this gives me an idea. There's no cow in the lush forest northeast of here. Oh man, Ur Urineth? Urineth? That's weird. Urineth. Uh, lives there, known as Sage. Did to do, well learned in the past. He's grumpy old coot at the best of times, but he is wise. He even been known to be helpful on occasion. I want you to visit Urineth and ask him for his advice. Did you guys used did you guys used to have a thing? What? Disgusting. Get out of here and talk to you. You're in the things you people say. Look at you people. Go and tell him Idia sent you. And take a picture of his face when he hears that. Okay. On a good note, I am almost leveled up. So, yay. So, I need to go to the northeast forest. Let's check the world map and see where that's at. This would be northeast one, right? Gorilla Spectre? Yeah, how about that? Um... Okay, so it's up and to the left. Got it. I know this map. I mean, I know this game doesn't really have up, but you can kind of get the gist of what up is in this game, just by kind of like looking at the stuff. Okay, that. You can do that. Oh, I'm so close to 95. I, I kind of want to get to 100 now simply because I want to get the freaking Damien uh, Silometer. I want to use that. Okay, now I just follow this path. Oh, this is the red people. Okay. I can sit here and kill 100 if I want to. And I can up to level 95. Why not? We can grind out a little bit. I mean, he could ask me to do that himself. So, you know, I'm actually going to head over to the old guy. Talk to him. He uh, Actually, talking to him should get me up to 95. And then he might ask me to kill those guys, so I might as well just do that. That way I can double two things. Okay, you. You're in it. Brat, you ten. What a jerk. Just spite me. Okay. 86,000 and... Doo -doo -doo. Oh, come on! Anger management? Eh. Uh, what? You're in it? Please. Your fancy words. Won't sway me twerp. Uh, as word transformation... As... As the weird transforming... What? Alien brats, what? Popo, what's... Is this supposed to be like Kami and Popo from like Dragon Ball? That'd be freaking hilarious. We're in the Dragon Land. It kind of is. It's Kami and Popo. Bring me Dino Sirloin. From Dino Ram. Ha, ah, great. Fucking... Fuck you. Dino Rams. Okay, cool. So it's these guys. Literally the same one, but reskinned. Re Great. 
I love when Maple Story saves on space like that. Or sprites. <laughs> Considering this game constantly has updates, and the thing that I absolutely hate about this game sometimes is that when you update the game, it literally re-downloads the fucking game. <laughs> it's like, no, like, hey, we're updating these files. It's, hey, shit, we're going to fucking download the entire, like, eight... No, like, I think the game's like 40 gigs. Actually, no, it's not 40. It's like seven, eight gigs. No, no, I, I, I do believe, like, there's been times where I had to download, like, 40 gigs of it. There's just so much of the game, so much sprites, so much, like, actual, like, coding. It's just fucking crazy at this point. Okay, let's, uh, put this stuff in. Auto-assign. Okay. Everything in third eye. Oh my god. All. Thank you. Okay. And then, bring this down. All right. And good. Okay. Grab this. All right, we're just gonna grab the sirloin stuff, and then we're gonna get back to the other thing after. Okay. God, this is not a high drop rate for these guys. I was thinking 30 was gonna be easy. That's like a one in five. That's why I like Kill Quest a lot more. I've, I explained that in the beginning, actually. I like Kill Quest a lot more than I like freaking Gather Supplies Quest. Okay, and then... Grab that. That. Up over that. And smack. Smack a bitch up. <laughs> okay, nine more. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slow and steady wins the race. And. Still close. Very, very close. I really do like that I'm replaying Maple Story on my channel, though. It's. It's been nice. It's been a nice relaxing thing because it's it's funny. Whenever I'm like doing like a recording session, I always keep MapleStory for the center because it's like I kind of like I, I get exhausted from doing Tomb Raider just because it's kind of like hectic. It's not like I'm like actually tired in real life. It's just more like the commentary for it's a bit exhausting. And the same thing with Wolfenstein. It gets pretty hectic, so it's also kind of exhausting. But MapleStory, I can just relax and chill. It's very, very nice to just sit down and relax too. Okay, let's go turn this in. Alright, how you doing? Um, okay, now that we can be friends. Ah, oh, they both have some. Oh, my name is Popo, I live there. Whoa, an old man. Okay, Popo's hungry. Now you want 50 of them? God damn it. Uh, and now he wants a fur coat. God damn it. You know, guys, I'm going to end the session off there. I will do this part next time. And if you guys do enjoy it, please let me know. Because it lets me know that I... Like I keep on saying, please let me know, let me know. It lets me know that you guys actually do want to watch this kind of stuff. And this kind of, like, grinding. And you guys don't care for the story too much. I mean, you guys do care for the story. But you guys don't... You don't see it as a priority. It's more my commentary. And that means a lot to me. But let me know what you guys want to see down below. I'm Tabs, I'm Anathalama, if you guys have liked the content, be sure to leave a like down below, it helps me out tremendously, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!